Today on Pots and Trials I'm going to look at ways of mowing to keep your lawn green and healthy as we go into winter and that's brought to you with the support of Darlac and Cobra Garden. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trowels. Well, thought what we'd do today is do a bit of mowing. Now you might think, oh, you know, here we are getting towards the end of September. It's time to put the lawn mow away. Well, it couldn't be further from the truth because lawns seem to keep growing for longer and longer each year. I think if you look in old gardening books, yes, you'd get to October and it would say, clean your mower, service it and put it away till next March. But in my experience, sometimes you can be mowing the grass pretty much right the way up until November, even into December, if the weather is dry and mild so please don't put your mowers away just yet because what will happen if you do your lawn will get really tufty and long and it will get thin at the base so when you do come to start mowing it next spring it will cut it hard back it will weaken the grass and it'll be more prone to weeds growing and moss and even diseases getting into it so what we're going to do today is just look at ways that you can keep mowing nice and simple ways that will keep your lawn in really good healthy condition right Right the way through the autumn so it goes into winter as strong as possible that way it will overwinter much better and you'll get a better start next year and I think you know we all agree if you're going to have a lawn it wants to look fairly good so first thing I would say is keep mowing while ever the grass is growing and it is keep mowing it little and often secondly don't scalp it there's no need to go right down to the soil we're not maintaining a bowling green or a cricket wicket we want something that's nice and green I don't mind a few weeds now we're not actually in our garden as you can probably see we as well as borrowing Dennis's vegetable plot we're using his field at the back just so we can do a little bit of mowing with these so two ways of mowing traditionally of course we would probably mow and collect the grass clippings like this so this mower here as you can see has got a box that goes on the back and we hook that on and then as we cut the grass it blows it out and uh, collects it for us that's fine you can do that it's a great idea when the leaves start to fall because it collects the leaves it chops them up with the grass cuttings and then they can go straight onto the compost heap so i think mowing with a box is a good way to do it but again not too close this mower is slightly different and it's one that i've just acquired and i'm really enjoying using it because it's the first time ever i've not had a petrol mower um, this one is battery powered so there's no electric cables and it's powered by these two 40 volt lithium ion batteries that charge really quickly and they just pop down into the back like that and it gives us 80 volts and it's quiet it's lightweight but it makes a really really good job of the mowing lots of different heights so all the way through the rest of September, October and into November when the grass is just starting to grow just take the top off it. I'm going to let this grass here it's probably an inch and a half two inches long and that will then thicken it up and we'll get a really good root system. Because it's battery it's fairly quiet There you go, it makes a really neat job of cutting the grass uh, and that will keep it nicely in trim. What you can also do with this mower is take the grass box off and you can fit a mulching plug into the back and use it as a mulching mower because I'm a big, big fan of mulching grass when you cut it all through the season. Now this is a dedicated mulching mower. You can't collect grass with this one even if you want to. Basically all it does is it cuts the grass, the blades are under there, it's got a mulching blade on there there's no outlet for the grass to be thrown into a box or anywhere so what it does it just chops the grass up very finely in that steel deck and then the downdraft blows it back into what we call the sward the cover of the grass and because it chops it so fine it doesn't leave big clumps of grass on the surface it rots down really really quickly hence the name mulch mower and that does two things it helps to feed the lawn because the 
Nitrogen in the grass is recycled back, so from an environmental point of view, it's really good because you need less fertilizer on your lawn to keep it green and healthy. And it means you haven't got loads of grass cuttings to get rid of. That's fine if you've got a compost heap, but if you can't get rid of it and you're using landfill, then it's, you know, it can be a problem. So mulch mowers are really good, but the secret with them is you've got to use them little and often. You must never let the grass get too long and again don't scalp it so all I'm going to do is just take the top off it and then you won't actually see any grass clippings so we'll just buzz over with this one um, and what I'm going to do is over the next month or so for the rest of the season is mow half of this plot with the mulch mower half of that plot with that mower and collect it just to see if there is any difference at the end of it so I'm just going to start this one up and do a little bit of mulching this one is a petrol mower So again, this one makes light work of mowing and you know, I've, you can see there, there are no visible grass clippings on the surface. What it's basically done there is to chop them down and they've gone right in. So regular mowing, without a doubt, with a mulch mower over a couple of seasons will really, really help to thicken up a lawn. If you've got a weak, sparse lawn, mulch mowing over that period of time will give you a much thicker, greener, healthier lawn. And the other thing, as well as keeping mowing little and often right the way through the autumn, is to give an autumn feed. Um, and I usually do that about the beginning of October. It's just a granular feed, very different to the feeds we put on in the summer, which encourage lots of green growth. The feeds we put on at this time of the year are low in nitrogen, so we're not encouraging that green growth, but they're high in phosphates, which increases the roots and gives us a strong, healthy root system. And they're also high in potash, and that helps with the general overall quality and disease resistance, resistance and winter hardiness of the lawn. So combined this mowing now, a little bit of a feed in a few weeks time with an autumn lawn feed. Our lawns will be put to bed in November in tip top condition so we get a really good head start next year. So I'm going to get on mowing because as you can see I've got a fair bit to do uh, with the mowers. Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trials and please do keep telling all your friends about us and sharing the pages. Next time I'm going to be getting houseplants ready for the winter. So we'll see you then. Bye.